Hello guys, welcome to today's class where we'll be considering another example on the commutative property. Now in this case, we are given a question here. We have for A and B, which are elements of set Z, define an operation D is by A operation B equals to A plus B times A plus B. Then determine whether the operation on set Z is Roman figure 1 closed. From our knowledge of closure property, we can actually approach this question and then Roman figure 2 commutative. So we are going to determine if it's closed and also if it's commutative. Now, for the fir first of all, we are given the relation that is the operation to be A operation B as A plus B times. A plus B. And we remember that for set Z, we remember that was, we represent the Z which was, with the set of natural numbers. So you see, where Z, where set Z is sorry for integers, represents Z for set of words of integers. And we know integers are what are whole numbers, basically, positive or negative. So if the set Z is for integers, then I can say for closure property, I can say let A for closure property, for closure property, then I can say let a equals to 3 and then b equals to 4. If that is the case, then I can say that what? If my a is there, I can say 3, I can say my a operation b will be regarded also now as 3 operation 4. Which using the formula we have above, that would be what? 3 plus 4 times 3 plus 4. This will be giving us 7 times 7, which will be giving us 49. So it means our a operation b is 49 and we regard our 49 we remember that was since 49 is also an integer since 49 is an element of set z that is, is also an integer then the operation and the operation is closed it's closed under set z so that's for roman figure one for roman figure two we are considering commutativity remember that for commutativity we know for commutativity, our A operation B must be equal to our B operation A. And we know A operation B is already given as A plus B times A plus B. So if this A operation B, then our B operation A will also be what? B plus A times B plus A. And if that is the case, it means if I rearrange this one, I will have this to be simplifying this one further. This can be written as this. And then this is also B plus A all square, which is which. By rearranging, will still give us a plus b all square, which is still a round figure. And then we can see these two are equal. So because they are equal, you see, therefore, the operation, the operation is commutative on that set R, set Z rather. So we are done with this question, and then we realize that what we can actually combine more than one operation to one particular question. We can do a commutativity question. We can also solve for its commutativity or its closure property for just one question. So it doesn't necessarily need to be just one property per question. All you need to do is apply the appropriate principle to each of the properties we are considering. So in the next class, we'll be considering a different property in what, in what we call the associative property, which is also known as associativity. So see you next class. Have a nice day.